tourists can heave a sigh of relief after the rehab work on the Magallanes flyover won't begin this June. Or can they? Authorities have decided to postpone until September the start of rehab works on the Magallanes flyover in Makati, originally scheduled for June. Motorists will be relieved to know that they won't have to deal with traffic congestion around the Magallanes area while also suffering daily gridlock caused by the rehabilitation of the company flyover along ETSA, which is expected to be completed in October of this year. However, Romando Ortez of the MMDA told a press briefing that motorists should expect some congestion on the Guadalupe section of EDSA, where excavation work will be undertaken in preparation for the rehabilitation of the Guadalupe Bridge. The Department of Public Works and Highways will construct a temporary bridge for light vehicles to serve as a detour for when the Guadalupe Bridge will be closed to traffic for retrofitting starting in September. The rehabilitation of the Guadalupe Bridge is expected to last from September this year to July in 2027. Retrofitting work on the Magallanes flyover is expected to be completed in July of 2025. Artes also told the press briefing that September will also see the start of the rehabilitation of the Lambinian Bridge in Manila. All four bridges and flyovers, Kamuning, Magallanes, Guadalupe, and Lambingan, are among dozens identified by a Japan International Cooperation Agency study that are critically in danger of collapsing in the event of a big earthquake along the West Valley Fault. Will motorists feel relief at knowing bridges are being repaired or anxious knowing that the reason they are being repaired ASAP is because they are in danger of collapsing during a major earthquake? More likely, they will complain that the repair work is worsening traffic congestion.